Hi, in this video, we learn about moment generating function of binomial distribution and characteristic function of binomial distribution. Let us see. First, we see moment generating function, which is also simply known as MGF. Let capital X be a random variable following binomial distribution with parameters n, p. We define capital X is a random variable that is following the binomial distribution with parameters n, p. Then probability of capital X is equals to small x is equals to P of X is equals to N C X P power X Q power N minus X. N C X P power X Q power N minus X. By definition of MGF, by definition of MGF, moment generating function of a random variable, we have MX of T is equals to expectation of E power TX. You must practice this formula first. You must practice this formula. By the definition of moment generating function of a random variable, it is given by mx of t is equals to expectation of e power tx. mx of t is equals to expectation of e power tx. Right. That is nothing but summation x is equals to 0 to n e power tx into p of x. Summation x is various from 0 to n e power tx p of x. What is P of X here? Binomial distribution, probability mass function of binomial distribution. N C X, P power X, Q power N minus X. Now you observe these two terms, E power T X and P power X. E power T whole power X and into P power X. These two terms can be written as E power P T, uh, sorry, P E power T whole power X. P E power T whole power X, these two terms. So, summation x is equals to 0 to n, n c x, p e power t, whole power x, q power n minus x. Now, remove the summation, I mean expand the summation, expand the summation, what you get? Summation x varies from 0 to n, so put x is equals to 0, you get the first term, n c 0, p e power t power 0, q power n minus 0. Put x is equals to 1. You get nc1, p e power t whole power n, q power n minus 1. Put x is equals to 2, nc2, p e power t whole square, q power n minus 2, plus and so on. Put x is equals to r, ncr, p e power t whole power r into q power n minus r. And last term, ncn, p e power t whole power n, q power 0. This is nothing but, this is nothing but the, the binomial expansion of p e power t plus q whole power n. You must know the binomial theorem formula, x plus y whole power n, x plus y whole power n. This is the same term. Instead of x, we have, instead of x, we have p e power t, instead of y, we have q. So p e power t plus q whole power n. Therefore, mx of t, mx of t is equals to p e power t whole power n which is the moment generating function of binomial distribution, which is the moment generating function of binomial distribution. Now let us see the characteristic function of binomial distribution. Again, same, first we write the definition of the binomial distribution. Let capital X be a random variable following the binomial distribution with parameters n comma p. You must write that first phrase because of marks, because of marks. Capital X be a random variable following the binomial distribution with parameters n come up. Then by using the definition of binomial distribution, it can be written as probability of X is equals to X. It is equals to P of X. It is equals to N C X P power X Q power N minus X. Now, by the definition of complementary function, by the definition of not complementary function, I'm very sorry. By the definition of, I'm very sorry. By the definition of characteristic function, by the definition of a characteristic function of a random variable, we have pi x of t is equals to expectation of e power i t x. By the definition of characteristic function of a random variable, we have pi x of t is equals to expectation of e power i t x. Remember that expectation of e power tx, expectation of e power tx is moment generating function. Expectation of e power tx is moment generating function. Expectation of e power itx is 
characteristic function that's it that is nothing but summation x is equals to 0 to n e power i t x into p of x e power i t x into p of x again what is p of x what is p of x p of x is equals to n c x p power x q power n minus x so now you can club these two terms now you can club these two terms like this p e power i t whole power x p e power i t whole power x whole power x now expand the summation remove the summation put x is equals to 0 1 2 3 and so on we get this one if you if you put x is equals to 0 if you put x is equals to 0 you get this term n c 0 p e power i t whole power 0 q power n put x is equals to 1 you get n c 1 plus n c 1 p e power i t whole power n q power n minus 1 plus n c 2 p e power i t whole square q power n minus 2 plus and so on plus n c r p e power i t whole power r q power n minus r n c n p e power i t whole power n q power 0. This is nothing but the binomial expansion. This is nothing but the binomial expansion. p e power i t plus q whole power n. This whole expansion is nothing but x plus y whole power n. x plus y whole power n. But for x we have for x we have p e power i t for x we have p e power i t for y we have q for y we have q finally pi x of t pi of pi x of t is equals to q plus p e power i t whole power n and what is mx of t q plus p e power t whole power n this is moment generating function and pi x of t is characteristic function Observe the difference, then it is easy to learn. And these two are important for five mark section. Derive, the question may be like this. Derive mean, derive moment generating function or characteristic function of the binomial distribution. Keep learning. Wish you all the best.